What's up guys, this is Lord's Larry, source of Out of This World Gaming Interviews. It is 2021, we're finally out of 2020. That 2020 slum is now over, hopefully all uphill from here because 2020 has been absolutely awful from murder bees to pandemics to God knows what, essential workers like me. But anyway, all that aside, today I bring you another Out of This World Reviews the McFarlane Toys line Todoroki from My Hero Academia. We're gonna break him open and see what you think here in just a moment. But of course, as always, we're gonna look at box art first. His box looks fairly empty compared to uh, what they could have done. I would have loved some bigger effects or maybe even some different effects with those too and still fit those in. As you can see, plenty of empty space, but uh, a very good looking figure. Let's see if I can get that glare off there and let you see him. Pretty detailed. But you see the side of it, it just says Todoroki, Shoto Tod Todoroki, actually. And then My Hero Academia on the side, there's the top of the box there, it gives you the whole, uh, the whole cast. And then it's just got him at the bottom there. And on the back, it actually has uh, uh, some photography of those characters as well. It gives you two other characters that they have made. Actually, these are the only two that I don't have right now. I still have a Bakugo and a All Might to show you guys. And then the bottom of the box, if you're wondering, that uh, barcode is 787-926-108316. If you guys want to take a shot at looking for this yourself in public. So let's break him open and see what you think. Right out of the box, I will say he has some really weird points of articulation. As you can see, they're, they're more rounded joints or maybe they're just more noticeable on this figure i don't know why but i'll show you how they move here in just a moment as you can see it is a really well sculpted figure it looks really nice uh, double joints at the knees elbows it's got those weird pivot pivots at the hand that i haven't messed around with as well as at the foot um and then the mcfarlane famous split joint legs there so as i said on the foot and on the hand he does have some weird joints although it does look like they work just like normal turns just like normal standard range of motion he does have your toe joints as well there uh, it does not have like a boot swivel or anything and as i said the double joint there and then the split joint that McFarlane likes doing does have a torso rocker here standard swivels on the arm and then double joint at the elbow and then the hand again has that weird swivel that can go all the way around just like the foot uh kind of weird I don't like that a whole lot I mean looks like he has a broken hand there and a uh, range of motion on the head that is all the way up that is all the way down. Let's show you what uh, his accessories are. He comes with one thing of fire, one thing of ice, and then two alternate hands. Looks like they're about the same on both sides. Show you what he looks like with his accessories. Super cool looking figure. I have to say that McFarlane might have outdone themselves with this one. This is my favorite McFarlane figure I have ever purchased, 100%. Man, this figure is really cool. Definitely a must-have if you like My Hero Academia. Although, I'm not a fan of McFarlane toys, I'll say that. But this one is absolutely stellar. Super cool, cool. Posability is on point. Really enjoy this figure. Definitely pick it up if you like my hero. If you like this video, please leave me a like. Subscribe on my page if you like this sort of thing. Maybe a share if your friend likes this sort of thing. And until next time, guys, this is Lord's Larry, source of Out of This World Gaming Interviews.